Let's say now I want to select one layer or portions of that layer in relation to the spatial relationship that it has with another layer, so select by location. In this example, let's have a look at boreholes, and I have a layer called um, suitable farms that are farms that have a certain perimeter and also a certain price at, uh, associated with them. I'm interested in all those farms that actually have a source of water as well. So how would I do that? You can already see visually that, for example, this particular farm here, you can find out what it is called by using the identity uh, feature. It's called Slipfontaine 551-KQ, um, or this one here, which is Kankelbosch 152JQ. These are farms that have a borehole in them. These areas are farms, there might be farms there, and you can see if they are in fact farms there, they are. But for example, this farm here, it has a borehole, but it doesn't meet the requirements of the other parameters that are set. For example, the price is uh, 8.59 million, and the perimeter is uh, 23618, so it doesn't meet the requirements of my previous selection. Right, so let's continue. We'll see how we can extract farms that have boreholes that meet the previous requirement of suitable farms that are below 5 million and that have the perimeter greater than 300 kilometers. Now, to do that, we can do a selection, select by location. I would like to select features from the farms, the suitable farms, not the boreholes. I'm interested in the farms that have boreholes, not boreholes that are within farms. So it's a different type of selection. So I want to select from the farms that have boreholes, which is here. You can select the layer there. And the spatial selection method tells you how you're going to evaluate. For example, intersect is that that layer needs to intersect with the other layer in some way. It can, it can have the same kind of boundary, it can be within it, anything like that. You can also have contain the source layer features. Now, if it was the other way around, if I would want to select, um, or in this case, if I want to have farms that contain a borehole, that would be a suitable option. If it was the other way around, where I was selecting from boreholes, that's intersect with suitable farms in some way, I would say are completely within the source layer features. This wouldn't give me the farms that they intersect with or that are within. However, it will tell me the boreholes that are within such farms. But we're not interested in that. We're interested in the farms. So we want to have suitable farms that contain, that uh, completely contain the boreholes. I would say apply. They're selected. So they show up highlighted. There's only four of them. It's still a temporary layer. So I'm going to right click, say data, export data, give it a suitable name. So farms with boreholes. Say OK. And that layer will be added to your map. So there we are. Out of this entire data set, only these four farms have a perimeter exceeding 300 kilometers. They have a cell value that is not exceeding 5 million, and they also have a borehole.